Hey fans, well thank you so much for watching today's Austin vlog. If you're curious what I'm actually doing today, I want to talk to all of you about my homemade battery bank I made about four years ago in 2017. I just added a pretty cool little device. It will actually keep the eye on the percentage of the battery level instead of just the voltage as well. And this is called this little guy here. I bought this off of Amazon. It is a pretty unique little item. This will actually tell me how much percentage of my battery is remaining inside of the actual battery. And what's really nice about this little device, it's actual a uh, voltage meter and a battery uh, percentage as well. But let's go ahead and actually take a look at it and show you actual how I have it. Let's go and have some awesome fun, shall we? Right, let's talk what's on the actual lid itself, should I say. We have a switch over here to control the LED strip lights, should I say, and I can actually use that as power if I need to, if the power goes out, or if I can turn that right off. But what's nice, you can kind of notice I have five USB ports on this unit. But you truly don't need five USB ports if you're going to be building your own. And I have a voltage meter right here with a pretty cool indicator lights on it. Now, the only thing you need to understand, if you're going to build one of these, you got to know what other thing is going to lay out before you start cutting holes in your box, should I say. And this is what's nice. I have basically my 12-volt cigarette outlet right here, my master switch right here to control the top of the lid, my charging port, two switches here. This switch controls this. And this switch controls that. And I'm going to show you what it actually looks like. Uh, I can barely kind of see it. I have to bring it closer to all of you. And it looks uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Before I actually open the lid of the battery box itself, it's a couple of things I want to talk to all of you about. If you're going to be putting the, the needle itself in, you're going to have to cut a hole out for it to actually fit but you don't want to cut it too small or too big. You want to cut it kind of an uh, even snug fit, but don't push too hard on it. You might actually break the display itself. But here is my uh, switch heel, and it actually turns on the display itself right here. And the battery is actually sitting at 92% charged, and that's not too bad for this battery. Now I went up to 93% charge of the battery on this. And you're curious about what the silver switch is. The silver switch, I will gladly show you. That switch controls the main part of the lid, should I say. And that turns everything on, on top. And that is pretty good. But let's go ahead and open it up and show you well, it's actually in this box, but you've already seen it before. But it's a bit heavy. Let me see if I can switch it this way here without turning anything on. Ah, well, <laughs> I just turned on my light. But that's okay. But you can kind of notice, it's basically what it all looks like on the inside. And that's basically what my fuse block looks like. And the wiring looks pretty good. It's a pretty good system. I was going to say, Chris, can you still upgrade your battery backup system? Can you add any more stuff to it? Well, that answer is going to be no, because the battery box is almost full of stuff, and I don't want to cause any issues with the wiring or any issues with the stuff inside the box itself. But like I said, what do I use this battery backup system for? Well, basically, I use it to power small electronic devices that run off of 5 volts, or sometimes I own devices that needs 12 volts. That's the reason why I have a cigarette outlet there. And yes, I can actually put a non cigarette outlet on the bottom if I choose to. But like I said, if you're going to continue to cut holes in your box, 
well, this is going to be a big issue because you can't go back once you cut a hole inside the box. There's probably a way to patch it, but it'll probably look kind of ugly if you turn around and try to patch it or something like that. But any more spandability for this battery box? Nope. I can only use it the way I have built it, should I say. And it works uh, pretty nicely, should I say. But in the future, I may actually build a whole new one. Not with using the sealer acid style batteries. I may actually use the lithium ion batteries. They might be a lot lighter than these heavier batteries. Can I put an extra battery in this? Nope, because it's just no more room inside this battery box. But uh, if you guys and girls are supporting this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog and thank you for watching and have a nice day. Catch you in the next one.